for the second dive of the, the week, I headed out to Steve's Ledge, which is a small shallow inshore reef that runs parallel to the coast. It was a bit shallow to dive today. There's still quite a bit of swell running. So unfortunately on the bottom, as you can see, there's still quite a lot of surge. Because of the shape of the bay, this reef often gathers a lot of the sort of debris that gets flung out by the big rip currents that push to and fro from the, the, the Pontedora Bay. Often you find interesting little fish that use this kind of debris for, for camouflage like these beautiful big uh, paper fish, hoping that any passing little fish would come by their way. Steve's Ledge is a fairly flattish reef and uh, in one particular area there is quite a nice sort of built up spot. And today it was quite impressive to see these fishes gathering, big shoals of them, lots of the dusky sweepers. While these fish gather in these particular areas, it's obviously just a perfect refuge for them and uh, if any predators do happen to pass by, they can dive into the little caves and crevices that the reef provides and get away from these predators. And also a lot of the blue banded snappers quite often look a bit drab when you see them from a distance but when you get up really nice and close, very very beautiful fish. Um, lots of these are also the little rustle snappers. Um, you'll see a difference between them. Some have got the sort of split body with the blue stripes on top and some have got a sort of yellowish tinge right through the whole body of the fish. As we drifted down the reef, I came across the dominant family of potato bass, I guess you could say. I found a couple of the females drifting up in the midwater. And right below them, I found the big dominant male. And this guy was just very relaxed today. He was very, very chilled, just sort of spending time on the bottom. I'm not too sure why he was so relaxed. Um, judging by his belly, perhaps trying to digest some, something. He looked really sluggish and didn't seem to, to move too far or too quickly. But a really big fish, this particular animal must have been in the region of between maybe 50 and 70 kilos. It's always a good sign that the, the reef is in good condition when you find these big groups of potato bass. You know there's a lot of life here and it's because of the reef, a good sign and a nice dive, conditions definitely getting better.